Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about various factors that will be affecting onto the heat treatment process. So basically, heat treatment process it will be applied onto the steel materials for enhancing the mechanical property as per the my requirements of the applications. So first factor that will be the temperature to which the steel to be heated. So basically this factor is depending upon the weight percentage of compositions into the steel. So according to the iron carbon diagram shows that the temperature to which the steel is to be heated up to the austenitic range. So austenite that will be the soft phase of the steel. Basically, it will be formed at a higher temperature. So, if you want to performing any heat treatment process, so that will be converting your room temperature steel to the austenitic temperature range for the steel materials. So, according to the weight percentage of carbon, or you can say it will be the category of hypoeutectoid steel, eutectoid steel, and hypereutectoid steel. It will be having a different temperature range so that will be the one of the factors that will be affecting for the heating purpose because into any heat treatment process first stage that will be the heating of your steel up to the austenitic temperature so if you want to learn in details for the basic heat treatment process so you will find a link in my description box so first one that will be the temperature to which the steel to be heated second important factor and that will be holding time so basically holding time that will be depends upon the composition of the steel or you can say weight percentage of the carbon and second size of the components so into the first category composition of steel so if the steel having a high carbon then the soaking time will be less as chance of the decarburization is there so if the steel is having a high alloy content then also the soaking time period will be less so basically that will be depends upon the weight percentage of the carbon is being present into the steel so up to the two percentage carbon that will be the all category of the steel so that will be depends upon the compositions of the steel then second one size of the component so in this category if the component to be heated is small then soaking time it will be less if the component that will be having a larger size so then the soaking period will be more to get the homogeneous austenite phase so in the simple way you have to converting your steel structure into the homogeneous austenite phase or you can say steel that will be converting into stable austenite so that will be the more common word stable austenite so that will be the one of the factors holding time it will be affecting onto the heat treatment process so after this rate of heating so the rate of heating of the specimens to the heat treatment is a very important criteria either we should have for the slow heating or we should go for the fast heating so that depends on to two basic things so first one heating temperature so the heating temperature if low then we should go for the slow heating but if the heating temperature is high then we should go for heating into two stages so in the first stage slow heating to be done to be get a uniform austenite because there will be the basic requirement of the stable austenite to converting into the different form of the steels so first stage that will be the slow heating to be get for getting the uniform structure after getting the uniform structure then it will be fast heating to be done to get the high temperature but our basic objective there is to restrict the exposure time of the components at a higher temperature 
so first there will be the heating temperature now second one it will be the size of the components so in case of the size of the component is smaller then the heating rate is to be faster so first of all that will be the faster heating rate if it will be having a smaller size then at the same time for the large size of the components the slow heating is preferred to obtain the uniform heating and thereby uniform structure so basically rate of heating that will be depends upon the temperature as well as the size of the component but the basic requirement is it will be the stable austenite or you can say uniform austenite at higher temperature for any kind of components then most important part for the heat treatment process and that will be the cooling rate so the cooling rate that will be having a important criteria for any heat treatment process this is because if we go for the very slow cooling so we will getting the microstructure as per the iron carbon diagram but if we go for the faster cooling rate then the it will be having a non equilibrium kind of structure is being formed so here we should first consider the purpose of the heat treatment process then we decided the cooling rate of the component accordingly so basically it will be having a various process like normalizing so in that case it will be the air cooling if you are performing the annealing process so that will be the furnace cooling itself if you go for the quenching so that will be the water quenching oil quenching or you can say the rapid cooling so in case of the normalizing and annealing you will get the soft phase at the room temperature but if you go for the quenching process or you can say water quenching so you will get the hard structure or you can say martensite kind of structure so according to the requirement of your properties it will be having a important part as the cooling so that will be considering as a third stage of the heat treatment process and last one temperature to which the steel to be cool so this can be again decided by the purpose of the heat treatment process and hence the final microstructure accordingly we will able to find the temperature to which the steel to be cool so this is the basically depends upon the requirements of the properties at the room temperature so it will be performing well into the applications so these all are the factors which will be affecting on to the various heat treatment processes so if you like this then subscribe and share more the mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching